Hello, this is Amazing Spider Fatty, and today I want to show you how to fix your Steam configuration files could not be found for Borderlands pre-sequel. Now, a little backstory before I get started. I actually wanted to play this game with my friend um, a couple of days ago, or a few days ago, but I didn't have it installed because I regularly wipe my computer um, about every six months because I don't want to have super cluttered files. So I installed the game. Uh, and I basically would try to launch it, and it would give me this launcher uh, message saying that Steam configuration files could not be found. The launcher will now close. Press OK. So it took me three days, and it was pretty simple. And I'll show you it right now. And please message me if this doesn't work for you, even after you do verification files. I'll try to find a different method. But I think this is the tried and true method that will work. I couldn't find it on Reddit. I could not find it on a Google search. I could not find it on YouTube. And hopefully this will be good for you. So what you want to do is you want to open up your Steam, obviously. You've installed the game. You want to play the game. Okay. Now for you, it will say Steam configuration files are not found. Launcher will not close. Press OK. Instead of doing that, you want to do Control Alt Delete. You want to go to your task manager and you want to right click the Borderlands pre-sequel app on your task manager, open the file location, close your task manager, and essentially what you want to do is force play Borderlands pre-sequel through this, which is, you can probably just find this by, you know, manually going through, but I think it's quicker just to just open up the game file and then go through task manager. But for me, it's an apps, Steam, Steam apps, common, pre-sequel, binaries, win32. This is basically like your launcher files. So you just want to double click Borderlands pre-sequel exe. Okay, it will force open the game. After that, every single time you launch the game, it should work. It should work every single time. And you will never have to do this again. Unless you wipe your computer and something goes wrong, just keep doing it this way, and it will work every single time. 